My husband Ruben and our two children went on holiday to Basel, Switzerland, two years ago. Feels like a lifetime ago now. Now anyone who knows me will say that I'm not one for art galleries. I like to see one or two pieces, especially if there's someone knowledgeable with me. But then I turn my face resolutely to the gift shop and tea room. Anyway, our daughter dragged us to the Kunstmuseum on our final day in Basel. Being the art philistine that I am, I had no idea of what hung there. We had a pleasant enough time wandering through, until I got to the room with Hans Holbein's The Body of the Dead Christ, which he painted in 1521. I just sat and stared at it for a long time. Long enough that my family gave up and wandered around the other rooms on their own. The painting is a life-size depiction of Jesus after it had been taken down from the cross. He lies on his back on a white linen covered slab. He's emaciated with sticking out ribs and bony fingers. And he's dead, really dead. Not a sleeping beauty waiting to be brought back to life with a kiss, but a dead-eyed, open-mouthed corpse with congealed wounds on his hands, feet and side, really dead. And as I sat there, I thought on these things. And I thought about how Jesus really did die on the cross. The blood stopped flowing. Life had left him as he lay in the tomb. Jesus, even as God's son, was unable to bring himself back to life. And I marvelled at how completely the impossible happened, that the Trinitarian God was just Father and Spirit, and how vulnerable God had become in the Incarnation, and how could you have a part of God that was dead? And what happened in the heavens during that time? And I wondered what would have happened if Jesus had stayed dead. Sitting in that room with a painting that showed the reality and finality of death. It made me shudder to think how life would be without the resurrection. And then I thought how different Jesus' resurrected body was. This wasn't somebody who was resuscitated. That in the Father in raising the Son back to life had given a new quality of life, a new quality of flesh. And I thought, what would life have been without this resurrection? without the imporing of life to a resurrected Jesus, without a reconciled and reunited Trinitarian God. And I thought about how much I take this for granted. And how much I appreciate life in all its fullness.